So hello guys, Peek and Bower here, and welcome to the second episode of Battle of the Beasts. Today we are going with Aston Villa. Last episode, Arsenal, if you don't know what the series is about, basically we're trying to see who is the best PPL striker under 10k, who is a gold player, and um, then we play five games with them and see who can get the most goals and assists and all that. So today we're doing Benteke, because he's Villa's only gold striker, and we come up against this team, it is the Spanish team, but with then Antonio Griezmann on the left wing, he doesn't get much chemistry, and uh, after the second and third minute, do a couple of chip through balls between Benteke and Willian, and Benteke just steamrolls past the defence, him and Willian causing so many problems, Willian doing his little tippy tappy dancing through the defence, gets tripped up, bish bash, what about a bing bang, it's a penalty, Benteke steps up with his 84 penalties, smashes into the roof of the net, after 13 minutes, we're flying without wings in this game, and Benteke gets another chance there, um, but he can't put it away, but five minutes after, he gets the ball, and you know what he's going to do with that cheeky little tuck past the keeper, um, to get his hat trick, and then he gets an assist for Fernandinho, who puts it away. So at this point, I was like, "Yes, Benteke hat trick and a goal after the first game is still not over. He got a chance here, but he's fouled." And then I got a penalty, and I'm like, "Right, four goals for Benteke." So I get the ball, 86 power, and all that. Uh, do the same as always, but this time I am an idiot and do it in the orange zone, and he smashes over the bar. So in the second game, we came up against this insane hybrid team well it's not really a hybrid because they don't all get full chem but like William but it's still in form Isco Thiago Silva it's mental and sorry we start the game there really good William getting it into Benteke and he's going right through like a train heading that in but that was the only clips I didn't get anything else from the last three matches which I was really disappointed with <clears throat> but he's still a good player to play with so let's go to the plus and negatives Plus his strength, heading, they're really good, he's a target man, and he's got decent pace, so the over top three balls work quite well. And his finishing inside the penalty area is pretty good. But his dribbling isn't brilliant, although he is fairly agile on the ball. And his finesse shot again, is it's it's alright, it, it's, not, it's not really that good, you won't be taking any finesse shots really. And his passing is not, is not really good, so he won't get many assists for you. So, where will Benteke end up in the table? Well, he finishes se his second just behind Bentner. Big Bentner, the Danish pasty, is ahead of him on four goals and four assists. Benteke only has four goals and one assist. And, but Benteke costs five times the amount of coins as Bentner, costing 2,000 coins. But he does get above a Giroud in the leaderboard, getting the double amount of goals, but only half the amount of assists of Giroud. So, thank you guys for watching. It's been Pecan Bauer. I hope you've had a good time watching this video. Please leave, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you next time for the Chelsea one. I'm out.